Hey everyone, my name is Chris Barocci. Welcome to Guitar Tweaks. This is the second part of my PJD Carry mod. In case you missed the first part, I put a link right there so you can catch up with what I did until now, what the plan is, and uh, yeah, altogether how the guitar was before I pulled it apart. I already put some masking tape on the guitar's side and the back because I only want to finish the top. I use a couple of helpers here. First of all, most importantly, when working with chemicals, you know, it's not awesome for your skin at all. The second thing is ferric chloride. I don't wanna age the metal parts to look stupidly rusty. I just wanna remove that, that uh, sort of glossiness, that brand new look, to say the least. I, I like them a little more dull, so that's the goal here. I will start with the tricky bit, which is uh, the tuners. I don't want the uh, chemical to go inside the tuners because I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> what I want to do is uh, just sort of put it on top of the, well, the buttons and the back side. And then I'll use some really fine, like, what is that? Like tissue, but this, uh, the one without the structure on it. This way it doesn't drop inside the uh, enclosure. It just stays on top of it. Now I'll just try to use the same piece for the button. Oh yeah, there you go. That's it. And the bridge plate. I will be super quick with this. Go in, turn it around. And we're done. Wow, yeah. Good call. <laughs> oh my God, this went literally in two seconds.
This part here is the bridge pickup ring, or it will be the bridge pickup ring. I'm gonna do the inside first and then cut it out at the end. Finally have the rough shape of both pick guards or like uh, pick up ring and pick guard but uh, I still need to do a lot of like fine tuning here obviously. I massively underestimated the time necessary for the pick guard and for the pickup ring. It just took forever. It's crazy how I underestimated this part of the mod. Um, all the rest, like finishing the guitar or uh, I mean the top of the guitar or sending that back and all that, that's, you know, an hour or something. Like the metal parts, that was also quite, you know, time, time consuming. Like. I don't know, two and a half hours maybe it took, uh, something like that, but that's like doable pretty fast. But this, because I want it to be super accurate with the, um, the, uh, the inside holes for the pickups and I don't have a template, oh my gosh. So um, I still need to do two things with the pick guards. Uh, first of all, I wanna give this one, the big one, an angle on the side, which is something that you see on these um, kind of pick guards. Uh, so that will take a couple of minutes and then the surfaces uh, of both. Uh, I don't want to keep them this shiny because they're like a mirror right now. I want to I wanna take away a little of that shine to match the, the top of the body, which is going to be like a VOS kind of uh, gloss. Um, I want to do something uh, similar here and I don't mind scratches and everything because the top is going to be a cracked finish anyhow. Uh, so I want to do the same thing or I am totally fine with having the same thing. Uh, with the pick guard and the pickup ring, so some, some scratches and stuff that make it obvious that they are not brand new are absolutely welcome. Um, and then I have to move on and uh, buff up the, the finish of the body. As usual, I'm wet sanding, so I'm using these um, micro mesh pads going from like 15 or 1800 up to we'll see how far, maybe 8000. Maybe just 6,000, depends on the shine. 
because I want the top of the body to first of all get rid of this orange skin, this orange peel um, effect that's normal when you spray uh, nitro or any type of finish as a matter of fact and uh, and obviously give it some shine but I don't want it to look like a, a piano or like a modern guitar I want it to have this sort of semi gloss this VOS gloss um, and I'll see how fine I have to go with the micro mesh pads until I have the desired amount of gloss <laughs> Now we're talking. This is awesome. It is glossy, but it's like milky glossy, <laughs> which is exactly what I what I love. That's the kind of finish that always makes my my brain do weird things to me and want to buy that guitar if I see something like that. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's perfect. And that's it for today. I am sorry if you're disappointed. I know I promised that I will assemble the guitar and play it and show it at the end of part two, but I, I as told, I heavily underestimated the amount of work that went into, like for example, the pig garden and everything. And I don't want to cut everything out because then it doesn't really represent the experience. So in case any of you wants to do something similar, I don't want to fool you with making you believe that that's like, you know, ah, whatever, like half an hour, done. <laughs> that alone the pig guard was, oh my gosh, yeah. So in the third episode, which is definitely going to be the last one, I will assemble the guitar, I will show you some super sweet close-ups, and I will most importantly finally play the guitar, show you how that uh, staple Anico 5 neck pickup sounds like. I definitely want to hear the bridge pickup as well. Um, the uh, the Sun Bear PAF, the SB PAF Plus, uh, which is in the bridge position, I, I cannot wait. So yeah, stay tuned of course, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss it, and uh, expect that video coming up really, really soon. You guys take it easy, bye bye.